Hello, my name's Paul. I'm the French teacher, and I'm here to share with you some ways of uh, learning new vocab and some activities that we do in the classroom. First of all, as you can see, we've got the screen here. We deal with lots of new vocab at A level, and of course, we need different activities to, to learn some of these words. As you can see, first exercise, we have a list. Here we have some words in French on the left and some words in English on the right. So we could do a match up. So for example, let's start with an easy word. We have the verb séparer. So obviously we can cross it out. And then of course we need to find the relevant word in English. And there we go, okay? So bit by bit we get to the more difficult words, which are the words that make the difference. So for example, we could, be, uh, we could end up with the verb se mêler à, which obviously means, we'll get to that point, to meddle with or spoil. So bit by bit we find new words. So that's the first activity that we do in class and that's an activity that you guys could do at home. Match the words when they're mixed up. As we can see, uh, we have snakes and ladders uh, in French. The students take ownership of this activity, so they write uh, on word cards the word in English, fold them over, and then they pass it on to another uh, couple who will then play snakes and ladders. In order to move on and um, get up to the finish line, you need to answer the question correctly. So you would uh, pick up a piece of paper, uh, it would say the word, Commanditant, how do you say the word for a play in French? You have to get the word correct, and if you do, you move forward um, what, you, what number you have on the dice. As you can see, we use Kuhu in the classroom. Um, this one that I prepared earlier is uh, for French history. As you can imagine, lots of new vocab, lots of difficult vocab. So um, I'm just going to show you a couple of questions that we would use to learn vocab related to French history. So there you have it, just a couple of exercises uh, to learn different vocab related to French history. Another activity that we could use to improve um, our vocabulary, obviously, is um, a good old style uh, thought shower or brainstorming. So therefore, this is what I use to start a new topic. Here we have the topic of education. So I would ask uh, the students just to think of a word or phrase to fill the board, okay? Donc, quand vous pensez au mot éducation, quand pensez-vous? What do you think of when you think of education? So we would have words like les devoirs, okay? We would have words like la salle de classe, Le prof, évidemment. Uh, we could have words like cahier, okay? And um, also we could have words like uh, simpler words, dictionnaire, okay? So bit by bit we're just increasing our vocab and warming up. That's what we use this activity for. Another activity that we could use, especially when we start a new topic, is what I would call a word game. As you can see here on the screen, the topic of the, uh, on the top is media and reality TV. So I've given you an example of some reality TV programs that we find on the TV. So students would have a card each with the name of a reality TV program and they would have to describe it in French so that the other people in the class would guess what the uh, program would be. So as you can see, the first one is, come dine with me. So a student would then say, c'est une émission, it's a programme, um, dans laquelle, in which, uh, il y a environ cinq personnes qui font la cuisine pour les autres. So five people that do cooking for other people. And one presumes that that would be guessed. I would hope so, okay? So another good activity that we use uh, to, uh, to get our speaking uh, flowing. One last activity that we use in the classroom. As you can see, we have 
English words and French words on a card. Now, um, we normally play these uh, with cards uh, called pairs. You place the cards down, turn over one card at a time, and you must remember the meaning of the word in English and French, and obviously find the right pair. So guys, um, I've shared with you some activities we do in the classroom, and hopefully you've got some ideas of how you guys uh, can learn vocab at home for your GCSE results. And um, yeah, that's a taste of what we do here at Huddersfield New College. Thank you.